Welcome to a demonstration of Flexera One. Flexera One takes your organization's IT to a place of illumination and insight so you can maximize the business value of your IT investments. In this demo, we will walk through preparing for our upcoming Microsoft renewal. We are only going to negotiate one contract for all our software, O365, and Azure spend. We'll start at the Technology Spend Dashboard. This is one of many out-of-the-box dashboards available in Flexera One. We can see total spend and how it's broken down by cloud, on-premises, and SaaS. We can also see the overall composition of that spend, as well as baselines and trends over time. We can see our top five vendors, and we see Microsoft is our number one vendor, then Amazon AWS. Here, we can see that software comprises 22.5 million of our Microsoft spend, and cloud is around $21 million of the Microsoft spend. So the composition of that is predominantly software, then cloud, then SaaS. The other thing it shows is that Microsoft is a very important vendor to the company. Microsoft is our largest vendor, so we need to have good insights for our upcoming renewal. But to really drive this answer is with actions. We need to peel things back and understand the context. We'll start first with the context of currency risk and specifically understand the assets that may be approaching end of life and introducing risk into the environment. So this is another pre-built dashboard in IT visibility. This is interesting to be aware of the context of the Microsoft spend because there may be an opportunity to stop using those specific technologies, or there may be a need to pay for the extended support offerings. We'll go into the end of support area and filter on Microsoft. We can see that we have several versions of SQL Server and reporting services that are coming up on end of life and end of support. Looks like we have about 3,000 installations of Microsoft software that are in an end of extended support situation. Now we want to understand where we are in terms of entitlements. So we'll go into all of our licenses and we'll filter on Microsoft Office. You can see that we have Desktop Office Pro Plus with software assurance. We have around 800 licenses and 42 consumed. That's a good news, bad news story. The good news is we're making good progress on one of our initiatives of doing less on desktop environments and more in SaaS. That could be a reason why the utilization of purchases is so low. However, it doesn't take much digging to understand that there's a lot of waste. Only 42 of the 800 licenses are actually being used, which is not very efficient. The next thing we want to do is look at our O365 position, specifically our E5s and F3s. So looking at E5s, we want to understand where they're not being used at all. That's an obvious place where we can grab those entitlements back. We can see that six are not being used, so that's not a ton. The next thing we want to look for is, out of all these users who have E5 entitlements, we want to understand which ones are remote. By definition, this entitlement is not being used for remote users. So it looks like there's around 15 users who are remote, and they would not need the E5 plan. So we have 15 entitlements that are being wasted. We want to look at one final view of our O365 based on specific thresholds, so we'll jump into the SaaS portion of the ITAM application of Flexera One and look at the Office 365 users. Here I can see my total SaaS spend, my suspicious activities, and my underutilized license costs. I can also look at my projected spend as well as upcoming renewals. But today we're really focused on Office. And we can see right away that around 12% of our O365 users are not actively using based on the activity thresholds we've specified. They're all eligible to be reclaimed. And we can even go so far as to kick off the notification process and start the communication flowing. The last thing we want to do on entitlements is we want to understand our Microsoft position in the data center. So we'll move back to our licenses. For this example, we're going to look at Windows Server. So you can see there are two categories of Windows Server, Core with Software Assurance, and Windows Data Center with Hybrid Use Benefits or AHUB. 
The AHUB program enables us to use those same license entitlements that we have in the Windows Data Center core and use them in Azure. So we essentially have the ability to use them on-premises or in Azure. As you can see, we have good consumption around 2,700 licenses in the data center, but we have very little consumption of the licenses that could be used in Azure. And we can see the detail here about where they're being used, even if they are in the cloud. Next, we want to investigate the cloud portion of our spend curve. As you recall, a significant amount of the Microsoft spend is on Azure. So jumping over to the cloud cost optimization of Flex01, here we can see a top-level view, and we see some interesting things. This is a pre-built dashboard in Flexera 1 all about Azure. First, thinking back to the Windows Server entitlements, those Microsoft instances in Azure aren't just sitting there. They probably have Microsoft Windows Server, so there's potentially a huge optimization opportunity if we take advantage of the Azure Hybrid Use Rights benefit. Second, you can see that with the composition that there's an awful lot of Microsoft compute. This is interesting for two reasons. Number one, this is the vast majority of the spend. And number two, it's really not changing much over time. It's going up and down a little bit month to month, but not changing dramatically. The other thing that's interesting is we may be able to reserve more of this spend instead of paying on demand. We'll pay a lot less if we reserve a portion of that spend. So getting back to on-demand versus reserved, you can see that the vast majority of the spend is on-demand instead of reserved. And on-demand is the least cost-optimized way to consume cloud resources. So we want to start the action process and get more context around this $6 million of spend. So we'll go over and look at our billing centers. This enables us to dive a little bit deeper and get into the billing area of cloud cost optimization. This is where all the spend grouping is taking place so we can see how all of the Microsoft cloud spend is broken out. A few things jump out here. First, we see some unallocated spend. This is interesting because this means no one has taken ownership of that spend, so it could be resources that are orphaned and it's just wasteful or it could be resources that haven't been effectively contextualized in the organization for chargeback and showback. Second, it looks like this engineering organization is the vast majority of our spend. So let's drill in on that. This engineering team accounts for the majority of our spend. Here we can see the department's spending, month over month, and see that most of the spend is again in compute resources. We can also see the projected spend for this month. So we need to dig into this and see if there are some recommendations and policies that we can use to optimize this spend. So moving back to our technology spend dashboard once again, here we can see the total spend and how it's distributed across cloud, on-premises software, and SaaS. Using Flexera 1, we have the insights we need to renegotiate and renew our Microsoft contract based on actual data. We know how we need to right-size our technology investments with Microsoft. Thank you for watching this short demonstration of some of Flexera 1's capabilities. Talk with us to learn more.